well meat internationals will be here as well yeah. and I'll be definitely keen to to um, to meet them and, and play them as well um, talking more about WCG of course uh, WGC I keep saying <laughs> cyber games What's, what is wrong with me um, WGC so of course you had uh, gee you had a, a lot of players go um, the only noble American I know is Dominion um, who else was there? Oh, well, Punko was there. Punko took out um, Cross Tekken, but no one cares about Cross Tekken, so. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, Punko. You had Kenzo Zang from uh, Cafe Id. Um, they actually had a drive to donate so that they could afford going, and I think I think they got a couple <laughs> hundred bucks <laughs> out of that, so. Um, yeah, so that, that that's good. Um. But, yeah, um, all in all, I, I think from what I've heard um, through the... Yeah, I don't even know who Malakith is. Like, you you really have to... <laughs> Yusuf, you really, really have to explain to me who these people are. <laughs> I, 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 I do not know any European te- uh, Tekken players. But, um, yeah, a lot of people there, the hype and the salt was thrown around. I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I've heard about a few few salty moments with um, <laughs> people throwing sticks on the ground. Oh, what, well, Kwong Star? Yeah. We're, we're not going to name names Kwong Star, but, <laughs> you know, that, that rage was, um yeah, if you guys didn't see it, at WGC, Kwong Star he lost was, he to... He was playing to Takeda in AE, and he just lost yeah. against his Akuma, and he threw the stick down. Apparently, apparently, the story goes that he um pretty much guessed right, but the input didn't come out of something and he lost because of that and that's why he raged and apparently it's like really uncharacteristic like he doesn't get yeah, angry about the games or um, I've heard Kong really really yeah, like, like level headed like he does not get angry he, oh, and he, then he, he, he gets he gets stressed like he doesn't he doesn't like never no, angry no, enough no, no, to throw his stick doesn't, but doesn't throw salt around the room or anything but like. it's good to know that his stick still worked the next day <laughs> that, that's good to know but that um, is definitely yeah. good to know. But yeah, that that's um all we're really gonna um I guess for now talk about WC, uh, D- WGC and OHN. So yeah, and OHN. But I mean, looking forward, of course, um down under we have Bam, uh, May eighteenth, nineteenth. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone. Um, Mid May, um, for Bam in Melbourne, of course. And then really later on in the year, we have Shadowloo Showdown in October. I can't remember the dates, but it's October. I yeah, know that. it's it's late, it's mid to late October as well. So, uh, but but looking to the um, immediate future, of course, personally, um, well, for us both, Baxter is planning to go on BAM. I'm uh, planning to go to BAM. Depends on financial issues, but um, yes, I'm 90% sure I am going to BAM because I really want to go play with the Melbourne guys. You know, try and level up more in Marvel, and you know. Hopefully, I can play with Eddie as well in KOF. I'd like mm, to do that. Sure. So um, yeah, that'd be good. To, good to go down there and you know, meet some of the Mel- meet some of the Melbourne guys that maybe don't travel as well. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, like um, yeah, yeah. Sh- shout out to to um, you know, some of the cu- some of the guys down there. I think um, Daichi is Daichi, one yeah. of the good players that doesn't travel. And yeah. also, um, I can see him in the stream chat. Castrol Edge or the sixteen-year-old warrior. Yeah, he doesn't get to travel because of school. But um, <laughs> don't worry, man. I, I know the feeling. You know, I was only there a couple of years ago. And as soon as you finish school, you can start traveling and beating people in the States. Don't worry about it. That's no, all good. It's all good. But yeah, um, hopefully, you've, uh, on a personal note as well, um, myself, I hope to um, be able to go to BAM. Um, of course, it, it's more whether I can really afford it at the moment and whether work gives me time off. So if, you know, if those two are good then I'll probably be um, making my way down but um, fingers crossed um, about that so but yeah um, okay so we're gonna move on now we're gonna talk a bit about we're gonna talk a bit about who we think is good, good bad and kind of meh in yeah Marvel 3 so we kind of <laughs> did this um, tier list um, very very um, quickly so just to give you an idea of what we think about the game so, so we're just gonna try and put it on the stream for you okay just just g- give us one sec okay so as you can see all right that 
is looking good for you guys. Yeah, so that looks fine for you All guys. Alright, so the clear tops in the game are Virgil, Magneto, Zero, Viper, Doom, Morrigan, okay? They are the definite top tier characters in this game. And he, he, I don't even play the game and I think so as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, the reason that I put Virgil, Magneto, Zero on a different, complete, like, completely different tier level compared to uh, Viper, Doom, Morrigan is because those three characters can win a whole match. Like, they can win a whole match by themselves. Without any assists or anything, I believe that those three characters could win. Even Zero, I have versed Tom's Anchor Zero before, and honestly, if you say Anchor Zero is trash, wait until you verse Tom's Anchor Zero and it is not fun. Like, if you've used X Factor, he can chip you to death. With the infinite block stream in Sugenbu, it's really annoying. Um, so yeah, that's why those three characters are up there. Next tier is Viper, Doom, Morrigan. Like, okay, so, so here is where... We kind of disagreed. I thought Viper would be in the tier below. Um, hate stupid characters. <laughs> Viper. <laughs> Viper. Uh, she's good, but you know she's got one of the worst um, sets of normals in the game. Um, to be honest here, uh, I mean Viper is excellent, but you kind of need to look at the bigger picture and see um, who else there is in the game. I mean, no one can kind of ignore Morgan Doom, um, even separately. They would be up there because I mean, together they are. You well, know, of course. the the reason why I was watching a stream, um, with F Champ on his FGTV live stream, and he was saying that Morrigan by herself is still really good. You know, she has great normals, she has great keep away, she has all right combo potential. Um, so she's not great like the three other god characters in the game. But she is definitely up there because if she has missiles backing her, she is ridiculous. Or if she has an assist backing her, sorry, she is like ridiculous. But if she is by herself, she is not that great. And I, I was saying, I, I mean, Harry, I, I know um, we were just having this discussion, uh, me and Baxter. I do know she blows up the top tiers. Um, but I mean, I, I think she's awesome, don't get me wrong. I just think, yeah maybe one or two spots lower and I'll be completely happy. The, the thing, the reason why I put her there and not two spaces below is because she has the same problems that Spencer has. She has really bad normals but the difference between her and Spencer is her invulnerable move is combo potential, right? And it's safe. Mm. That's the thing. And she has a projectile one that she can cancel into another one. So she pr practically true. she has a bionic arm that she can cancel into a bionic arm that is safe. So that is why, yeah, that, those characters are so high. Why Scent is so low? Well, basically, he is really not that great anymore. Alright, so, this is the thing. Okay, I'm not sure if you're first um, a good, mag uh, or a great Magneto player, I should say, right? Like Tyrone, um, his Magneto is ridiculous. If you have Sentinel, and you come up against his Magneto, as soon as you land, you're going to get, well, I don't know what the word is for it, but he's going to do eight overheads in a row on you, and you cannot get out of it. It's eight overheads, you have to block it. It's actually an a, an, a light add ash up, up forward and then down forward, isn't it? Yeah, so it's up, it's, it's jumping up forward, light, then dash down forward, light, then jumping up forward, light, dash down forward, light, and just over and over again. And that is like, you can't get out of it, and that will beat Sentinel, like, clean and you can't that, do anything that is just one one specific matchup i mean if, if you um look at sentinel versus okay sentinel versus virgil terrible sentinel versus zero terrible sentinel versus magneto terrible sentinel versus morrigan pretty yeah. damn bad <laughs> sentinel versus doom is okay no it's 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 bad, it's bad? I, I i found really? out something that okay. just kills sentinel for free well, it is it is the equivalent to magneto's light loop on sentinel and then we have Viper, so um, yeah. Sentinel comes in, oh, Crouching B, oh, EX Seismo, g'day Sentinel, how you going? Spence is the same yeah, thing, same you do thing. Crouching Medium, Bionic Arm. arm. Sentinel is Wolverine, Even of course, everyone knows about the Wolverine Wolverine, yeah, Wolverine just destroys him. Alright, so, alright, and alright, sorry for blowing you up, Castral Edge, but just looking at all these characters, I think the only kind of okay matchup he would have would probably be Iron Fist, and that's because he has to be grounded. <laughs> and even then, Iron Fist can just dash up, instant overhead, heavy, S, and then that's a dead Sentinel. So, that is why Sentinel is so low. Yes, he has 
an excellent assist, but that does not make him great and whatsoever. Even X Factor Level Three Sentinel is if if you lose to an X Factor Level Three Sentinel, it is your own fault. The other player is never going to do something insanely good to make that come back. So I mean, well, I guess now we put the question to you guys: What do you think about this list? Do you agree? Disagree? Do you think some characters should be lower, higher? Yeah. Do you think uh, we've got the general picture of things? I um, just want to hear your thoughts. But going back again, I mean, I, I think um, in a nutshell that um, I think we've got the first 10, 15 characters relatively solid in my opinion. Alright, so I'm just going to say something. Any character that is b beneath, I would say, any, any characters beneath the um, Spider-Man tier, they are irrelevant in this game. If you're using any of those characters, they're irrelevant except for Strange because Str like, Strange is only good in one instance and that is the Team Nemo. No, well, I, I wouldn't say the irrelevant. I mean, you can, okay, so you, you can kind of use every character in the game, but you know, some characters need a, a team to support them. I mean, for example, you can use Wesker, obviously. Wesker, Akuma. Oh, uh, Wesker? Alright, so someone just asked, um, oh, Raul. Okay, Wesker, yes, he is irrelevant. Why? Is because Wesker can be absolutely zoned, like, not zoned per se, but he can be controlled. Because he ha doesn't have something that just puts him on top of you, and his, even his teleports are controlled, you can completely control that matchup, in a sense. Yes, there are factors that you can turn it into Wesker's favor like Strider assist but even then you can still control the matchup if you know how to play against it properly so yes Wesker I believe in this game is irrelevant now it has oh, gotten to that point and and just um, FYI guys th this isn't a has faults or well rounded tier list it's kind of like who we thought was better going from left uh, right to left so yeah just FYI it's not um, well apart from Phoenix it's not really um, or that Dante has way less faults than Modoc. Alright. I mean, for example. Alright, so, um, Will, the tier list with Phoenix and Modoc and stuff. Alright, so this is my tier list top 10, top 10. after the top, top 10, okay? So, um, top 10. I'm not sure who goes in that 10th spot, okay? I've got the top 9, and then that 10th spot is really hard for me to, um, actually decipher. Like, I'm not sure, you know, you've got Nova, who's a great character, you've got Dante, who's a great character. I don't think Dormammu's up there, that was Colin's input, but I, I don't think Dormammu's up I, there I, that I high. think he's pretty good, I mean, he, he's a really, really balanced character. He's got, you know, good zoning tools, he's got good movement tools, I mean, of course, he's not a rushdown character, so you won't really, well, he can with the air dashes. I don't see why he shouldn't be up there. Because he's slow, like, he's slow, he's slow and um, not, not just that, like, he can... Even if he charges and stuff like that, like, there's still certain matchups where it doesn't really stop anything. Like, yes, he gets the two reds and one blue, but even some rushdown characters like Magneto, I still think, just destroy him that match. Like, it... Because when I think about a tier list, I'm rating them, yes, about what their characters have, but also the last element that I think about in creating the tier list is how they deal with the top tier characters in this game. And Dormammu with the top tier characters, he just gets steamrolled, I believe, in okay, all yeah. of those matchups. I, so. I, I do see what you mean now. Um, it's something I, I, I guess, um, personally, I actually overlooked. Um, I mean, I do think Dorm is good still. But he, I do know he's not a one-man team, like a lot of, of the top tier characters, like Virgil, Mags. So I do know he's got weaknesses, so um, yeah, I, I, I do agree now. Um, Ah, oh, how can X-23 handle matchups? Okay, so the thing about X-23 is um, she's a really underrated character, I believe, yeah. in this game. She hasn't been explored at all. Um, the thing about X-23 is when she gets 3 meters, she pretty much can kill a character for free. So, if you have, uh, um, like, my, I was talking to another um, Queensland player known as uh, Min, and we were talking about this one day when the infinites were first discovered. And we were saying a great team for this game would be um, Dante, Doom, X-23 last. The reason for this is because you get an opening with Dante, you TAC into Doom, do TAC infinite, build enough meter so that X-23 has a level 3, then hard tag X-23 in before the next incoming character comes in, 
use X Factor to use the OTG. Um, and then you have another 3 meters to kill the next character because she has a kill combo with X, X Factor level 1 on 1.1 million life characters. So that essentially will win you the game. But therefore, like, then again, if you lose Dante in that, in that team, then you're pretty much going to get steamrolled. And I, I have to say, um, just to clear things up, uh, firstly, this is literally um, a 5 minute tier list. We kind of both agreed on certain things, we disagreed on certain things, we kind of met in the middle. Um, so this kind of reflects both of our opinions. Um, the tier list was not actually made um, on who can fight the top tiers the best. It's made. It's just a small factor that I yeah, that we course. incorporate. You have to incorporate that at some point. Whether it whether it um, you know it's how well the characters are against top tiers, what they have um, in their arsenal, or you know how I don't know. However else you'd like to. Um, um, do a tier list, but what we've done is we've gone. Okay, we know our top tiers, obviously. We know the, the top five, six, maybe even top ten, and we've looked at everyone else and kind of gone. Okay, what's this character have? What this other character have? In not just certain matchups, but in general against the entire cast. So in a nutshell, this is how we feel about what each character can do um, against um, everyone else. To put it bluntly. So um, yeah, uh, it's it's kind of I can see looking looking even looking at it right now I can kind of see um, a, a few characters where I, I guess we shouldn't have put them where where they are. I mean I, I, I honestly probably wouldn't put Wesker that low, um, but yeah again we met in the middle. Nemesis is probably not better than Deadpool, um, about the same in in our opinion. But then again, um, yeah um, I guess we're nitpicking here. But in, in general again back to myself. Um, think the tier list is something like what you see here. Sorry. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Once again, guys, this tier list was only created in like five minutes because we were just quickly trying to get one up before we started um, doing this show. So um. And once again, we'll yeah. We we're not just um thinking about that one factor of how well they do deal with the top tiers, but there is a definite clear. To, I would say top six in this game. So you have to, as a last factor of creating a, or a good team or a good character, you have to think about how they'll duel in the certain matchups with those top tiers. Because when you go into a tournament situation, you're definitely going to run into someone that picks the top tier characters. Like, you know, a team of even zero Magneto Virgil. There's still people that use teams like that. So you have to have characters and teams that um, can deal with those characters um, partially well. Um, yeah, that's why. Okay. So, um, yeah, I guess um, that's what you see is really what um, our opinions are on the game. Again, thanks for um, sharing the ideas. Um, we know a lot of you don't um, um, really agree, and you know that's perfectly fine. That's kind of what a tier list is about. So, um, yeah, thanks again for, um, for going through that with us. But yeah, um, again, with Marvel, because it's such a, a team-based game, uh, I, I think it's really hard to have just one solid tier list. I think you have to have a lot of, not only a lot of factors into account, but you have to think about the game as a whole. Like, for example, if you remember, I'll put it up again, Beautiful Joe is actually right here. Yeah. Look at that. He is relatively high. He's, he, he's above the midline, okay? Um, above everyone else. Even above Sentinel, above you know Wesker, perhaps. The reason for this is, I mean, Joe isn't good because he's good on his own. He's good because if you build a team surrounding him, then he's, he's very scary. Really, really, yeah, like, really. all right, so um, I'm going to tell you guys something. All right, so I was um, talking with a beautiful Joe player in Australia, and we were talking about his team structure because he wanted to improve his team. And I said, well, you're a very good keep away type player. So why don't you incorporate Doom Missiles into your gameplay? Because if you have Doom Missiles with Beautiful Joe, as soon as they start blocking the missiles or even get hit by the missiles, you would start charging up the red boomerang, right? So if you charge up the boomerang to um, when it starts going red, it will follow you around and it hits up to three times, right? So when you do that, they have to eat that for free or they have to come at you. And when they start coming at you, you can have another assist. That is a very good keep off me assist like... I don't know, let's just say Akuma for now, right? Or, no, Rocket Raccoon. 
all right so let's say rocket raccoon and you have pendulum assist then you do the air dash forward with um boomerangs or the air dash back or the triple jump with boomer um with pendulum assist that creates a really strong team because you create the situation where the other player can't just sit on the other side of the screen because they're losing health by getting chipped out by the red yeah, and, and, and you are forcing a reaction i mean yeah and that, that's where joe sh shines really when he forces um the opponent to come in because then you know you've got the air dash um is it s yeah air dash um the the triple overhead yeah the the, the pizza color yeah yeah yeah, yeah that. so you've got that to open them up you've got good lows you've got dodge as well and that's oh, yeah. a really good even offensive yeah the, the dodge move is actually in my opinion really broken actually because no one else in the game has that sort of a move yeah no one no one and no they they have there's two characters other than him that have that kind of move and it's frank west once he's hit level two and um oh. captain america with the roles but their roles can't be instantly cancelled into any oh yeah frank's you, you can can't. cancel into super and so can um captains but they're, they're supers that are both mm -hmm. punishable, right? right? So, Beautiful Joe can cancel it into his DP special. and To launch them. If that... Oh my god, like, that is ridiculous. That leads to 900k damage. And that is, like, ridiculous. Because you get a free... That is pretty much, essentially, an EX size mode, but it doesn't cost meter. And that is scary. Yeah, um, that is really again. scary. Okay, so, um... Yeah, so that that's... Our opinion on, on the game in a nutshell. Yeah. All oh, the um, characters in the game. Yeah, yeah, characters. Um, so, I mean, I would go ahead and talk about KOF 13. Um, I'm not too sure if, um, you know, a lot of you guys have opinions on tier lists for the game, but I, I will say, you know, you've got your Mr. Karate, you've got your. Alright, we'll just pull up your tier list and we'll right. just show them the top tiers, but we'll just talk about the tops the top in the game. Alright. So we're just pulling it up. Give us two seconds, guys. So bear in mind, this is actually my opinion on the. Um of of the tier list um, back in November. So just bear with me. Um. So yeah. Um. Once again, guys, like this is not just about Marvel. So this is why we're talking about KOF as well. All right. So. Um, um, yeah, so we're just uh, <laughs> um, changing it at the moment. Changing things on the fly because um, the tier list has changed in our opinions since November last year. Like Kim, if you guys know um, KOF, uh, Kim has definitely moved up the tier list in this game because he has just ridiculous everything pretty much. Like his far D is just ridiculous. Crushes lows, puts you on plus, combos. You know, it does everything you pretty much want a normal to do. Um, he has great damage output. EX, EX Hung Gets on is ridiculous. Like, it's really it's fast. Plus one on block as well. Plus one on block. It's so good. Like, he has everything that you want a character to have, pretty much. If he had a command grab, he'd be so awesome. Like, imagine if he had a command grab, he'd just be so broken. No. Do not give him a command grab. He does not need a command grab. He's already got, like, a really good overhead. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, you don't want to give a character that's that good um, some more tool. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you guys um, uh, basically a tier list. Um, I'm going to shuffle a few things around, so do bear with me. That's fine. So, what I'm doing now is I am actually rearranging the tier list as how I see. Um, the game to be, to, or rather to have evolved. So, okay, if you focus on the top here, obviously you have your Mr. Karate. With your Karate, you have your Hua, your Benny, your Flaming Yori, your Kyo. That's the top five there. So, then you have you know, EX Kyo, Kim, Yuri, uh, King, and in my opinion, Chino Takuma to run at the top ten. Um, other than that, the game's actually relatively. Um, it's really balanced. I mean, in my opinion, the, the most balanced KOF game um, made thus far. It's really um, offense and defense. Um, it's really, really well balanced. Um, like the thing I really love about KOF, and the reason why I took to it so quickly, is 
when I play a fighting game, I really like to use majority of the cast in the game. Like, I, I used to play Tekken as well. My first te Tekken that I played properly was Tekken 6 BR, even though it was a horrible game, I played it. And I could use every single character in the game, because that's what I like to do when I learn a fighting game. I like to learn every single character. Same with Marvel, I know almost 95% of the cast. And with this game, I'm slowly working my way through the characters. But yeah, that's why I really like this game is because you can actually learn every single character and use it even in a tournament and you can still win. Like, that is how good it is. Top 3... Yeah, I'd agree with that. I would still say that top 3 is Mr. Karate Kwa and Benny Maru. Yeah, that, that's right, Hari. <laughs> top tier, man. Yeah, um, of course, you know, it's not that... Um, they're broken or anything because Mr. Karate is very mild for a number one character. He's a very, very manageable. Um, he's actually got um, really good tools. He's very accessible as well, but he's not broken. He's nowhere near broken. So don't get that idea in regards to, to the game or this tier list when, um, when you see that. Alright, so um, one of the things that makes Mr. Karate such a strong character is his EX Super. So you jump and you get EX Supered, right? Um, you throw out a normal, you get EX Supered, and it's 360? Is it? 360 box? No, 360 That's damage. 376. 376 damage. So, 376 damage for jumping. That, that's why, while after really scary tools, as soon as Mr. Karate hits two bars, you cannot jump. Like, you have to be really careful in how you jump, and pretty much you only want to hop in that instance, because otherwise you're just going to get supered. Um, while Jai, the reason why he is so ridiculous is because if he uses one bar and gets drunk and he has 50% drive, it's 700 damage coming your way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, um, satisfied with this. So, um, yeah, in the middle you can see there's just <laughs> a whole cluster of characters. <laughs> it's really hard to make out, so. I know, it, it's, um, I guess it, it, it also kind of you know, tell, tells you how good a game uh, KOF 13 is. It's very balanced. They're all really squashed together, so... Um, Vice Orochi, you're saying Mr. Karate is OP because he can kill you with one drive and two bars. No, he, he can't kill you. He can't kill you, but he does 480? Do no. Over 50%. Oh, really? Easy. Well, it, in, in, that, in that case, then Takuma must be the best character in the game because he can do 912 damage with one bar. Yeah. One, oh, two drives, HD. one bar. Yeah, so it's... Essentially, using an entire HD bar, and he can kill you with three bars, um, three bars full drive. So yeah, um, again, this is just um, our opinion on, on KOF 13. Um, so yeah, again, um, just uh, an idea to give you guys if you're just starting the game. Um, and yeah, just yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, the next thing we might be talking about is um, okay. What makes a good team? Okay, so again, we, we'll go back to Marvel because um, we'll you know, do Marvel. Oh no, do KOF first. Do KOF. Do KOF. First. All right. Well, um, KOF is a lot less lenient than uh, Marvel because you don't necessarily need a team, but you need three individual characters that complement each other. So um, you have characters that are good at, at being point characters. Like you've got Billy um, characters specifically, like Billy, even Psyche, Robert characters that don't really need to use meter and build a surplus of meter um, for, for the rest of your team so um, yeah uh, again you've got um, your point characters and you have your your secondary your, your second spot characters of course Pua is by far the best second spot character in the game because he can do um, with two bars one drive I think in excess of 80% um, what about Takuma yeah he's the second best Really? He's, you, yeah, you, no, he's second best. Why? Because Hua can do over fifty percent off a of random BP with two bars, one drive. Because he, he makes a surplus of one. Takuma, bar. Takuma can do fifty percent off um, EX Fireball. But the EX Fireball. Yeah, that's EX Fireball drive cancel into um, heavy Fireball super is fifty percent. That's that's three bars. Yeah, and that's full screen. Okay, well. No, uh, that's two bars. 50%. EX Fireball. No, no, no. That's just level one Fireball Super. EX Fireball okay. is 45 actually percent. Well, I think. I, I just think um, you know Hua is overall he's he's got more versatility. 
<laughs> Hari. <laughs> Hari uh, and, and Yamchi. Shout out to Yamchi. Shout out to Yamchi. Um, um, but yeah, you're going <laughs> going back to Hua. Um, he, he's really um, he's got a lot of tools that use me to really. Oh, well. I guess I guess Hua as well is just a better character. Yeah, so 